Well, hello, fifth grade, and welcome to our next project. This is the first project for quarter two, and we are going to make a wacky burger collage. Bur uh, burgers, you know, collage is just a fancy French word for scissors and glue. So we're going to make a picture using cutouts. Before you begin, you're going to need some glue. I'm using this glue, but a normal glue stick is absolutely fine. You'll need a Sharpie, you'll need some scissors, and you're going to need a variety of different types of colored paper. Now, I have painted this paper myself, so you guys can go ahead and paint up some paper. It looks really beautiful when you paint paper because you can actually see the brush marks. Have a look at this. So you guys can go make yourself several sheets of these and leave them to dry and keep them away from pets because for some reason when you put paper on the floor to dry, pets like to walk all over it while it is wet. Um, then I've also got some ordinary sheets of colored paper like this. Um, if you haven't got this, don't worry. You can make your own paper by coloring or painting your paper. And I've got some pieces of paper like this that I've torn out of a magazine. Okay, then I've got two pieces of recycled card that I found like this, and we're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm going to draw on this. I'm going to measure, because this is the size of my paper, so it's just an ordinary piece of office paper. Let's just move some of those things to the side for now and move this over here a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to measure. I'm going to put this on here and measure roughly, and I'm going to draw a shape like a burger bun. Okay, so your burger bun at the top has got that kind of a dome shape, so that's the top. And then I'm going to draw the bottom, and the bottom of the burger bun is more flattened, so it's kind of a shape like that. So I've got the top, and I've got the bottom. And I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to start cutting. Right, so there's my top of my burger bun. Nice, organize and cut out, throw away your paper mess when you're done, and the burger bun goes on the top. Now, I want you to make it come off the paper a little bit, okay? Because this is a wacky burger. It is so full, it's going to be so full of things that it's going to explode off the paper. Okay, so this goes over here. Notice how it's a little bit off the paper. So I'm going to lift this up on some glue. Remember, you guys can use normal paper glue for this, okay? A glue stick is absolutely fine, and I'm gluing this on like that. There you go, and there's the bottom of my bun like that. Right, so we all know that a burger bun has often got a few little seeds on it like this. So I'm going to put a few seeds on my burger bun like this. Nice, soft, juicy burger bun. Yum. Okay, and I've drawn on a whole lot of seeds. I guess you should sesame seeds on this bun like that. So there you go. I've done my seeds all finished like that. Perfect. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start thinking about some of the things that I want to put inside my burger. Over here, I've got a piece of colored paper that I'm going to use. And the first thing I'm going to put inside this burger is, I'm going to cut out something for the meat. Now, you can draw on your paper first. Remember, it cannot be too small. You're filling the whole sheet. So I'm putting this down. This is going to be a double cheeseburger. And I'm going to make some cheese to go on top of this. Okay, guys, here's something important I want you to think of. Before you start gluing things down, because this is collage, before you glue, you practice the layout. Okay, there's my first layer of cheese. Next thing I'm going to do is another juicy burger patty. I've got my juicy burger patty coming up now that I've just got cut it out like this. And so I've got another juicy burger patty like that. 
And I'm going to put even more cheese. Yummy. I want this to be a very cheesy burger. So I'm going to put even more cheese. Like this. Here's my second layer of cheese. <coughs> Excuse me. I've decided that I'm going to put a lettuce leaf. I'm going to cut this out. And make some lettuce like this. And I'm going to put some lettuce coming out of here somewhere like that. And I've decided that this is going to be a really wacky project. And because I lived in Portugal for a long time, although I'm South African, I'm going to put, I'm going to make this a Portuguese burger. So I'm actually going to put a sardine in it like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I've got something here that I really like. I've got this color here. And I'm just going to cut this out and we'll make a layer like this in my burger in this magazine. Okay, I'm going to put a layer like this. Do a little bit of ocean like that. Those papers to the side. And I'm going to take a little bit of this red paper here. And I am going to cut out some tomatoes. I'm going to have several several tomato slices in my burger. So I'm going to put the tomatoes like that. Right, maybe I'll put my fish in the front. I think I want to make some eggs on this burger as well. So I'm going to cut out this piece of paper. I'm going to cut out some eggs. And I'm going to make this into a, a double egg burger. So it's going to be double cheese, double egg, lots of wacky things going in there, right? And I need some yellow. So I'm going to take some yellow over here for my paper. Let's see if I have some painted paper. I'm going to use some yellow for my paper like this. Yum! A yolk for that egg. And a yolk for that egg. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to start gluing all of your stuff in place. So you're going to move it all around until you're happy with it. And then you're going to lift it up really carefully like this. And you're going to glue everything in place. So you're probably going to have to move your elements to the side again. And then you're going to start planning how to put everything together. So you're filling the space in between the two buns with lots and lots of wacky things. Guys, I've done this project many times before. And it's very fun. And one year, one of my students put a shoe inside his burger. And it was very funny. You can put anything like that. You can put a mobile phone inside because this is a wacky burger, right? So there is that. Other things could you put in your burger that were strange? Hairbrush or a pair of scissors. <laughs> or how about some strawberries? Or chocolate. A chocolate burger. Or some ice cream. You could put some ice cream in your burger and put a cherry on the top. Because this is a wacky burger, right? So I put my ocean. This burger's got a little taste of the ocean in it. And I'm going to glue in my sardine like this. I'm going to put my sardine over there. And now notice the overlapping, okay? I want to put some things behind and some things in the front. So I've decided I'm going to put glue on the back of this. I've decided that I want my tomato to go behind my fish. I'm going to move my eggs away for now because I want to put my other tomato behind my fish like this. My tomato there, and that's actually going to come out of the bun. And then I think I'm going to make some more lettuce. To cut out. In fact, I'm going to put some spinach into this like this. I'm going to cut out some spinach like that. I'm going to have a big old piece of spinach coming out. Yes, because I want this to be super wacky. So I've got some spinach in my burger over here. You could even put a salt and pepper pot in it. I want you guys to use your imaginations. And to be wacky with this okay it's a wacky burger project and look at this mine has got one two 
two. I'm actually going to put my egg. No, I'm going to put my egg there. I'm going to put two eggs. So my second egg goes there. And I'm going to put the egg yolk going behind. It's overlapping. Notice that. And I'm going to put that over there like that. Whoa, look at that. That looks amazing. Look at that. That is wacky and crazy. Okay, so notice, guys. The entire paper has been filled, and it's actually coming off the paper in an explosion. And what that does is tells us that this is huge and juicy. Now, I'm going to add a few touches. I want you guys to think about how you can do this with Sharpie, okay? A Sharpie, sorry. This is spinach, so I'm going to make it look like a leaf. Who likes spinach? I actually do. I love spinach. Here is a kind of a lettucey leaf. I'm going to put some lines on there like that very simple my meat could actually do a little bit of like a burnt thing on the meat like this you know there you go remember tomatoes you should look carefully at a tomato slice and you'll see that they've got these little like triangle things with pips inside so i'm making the tomato look like that and over there goes my tomato slice putting those little tomato pips inside there like that and here is my fish i'm going to add a few details on my fish maybe i'll put a few fish scales like this and maybe a fin on the side of my fish like that and that is starting to look really really nice okay now the last thing i want you to do okay so guys here is what is important you have filled the whole paper okay that is what i want you to do I want you to fill the paper. So you're thinking about composition, which means how have I put my things down to create beautiful shapes that fill the paper so there's only a tiny bit left. This part here we call the background. Okay, now we need to finish because you know I like you to have your work finished. So you're going to take either some paints, if you have paint at home, otherwise just use crayons, and I'm going to go in with my brush and carefully, I'm going to carefully paint the background, okay? So I don't want to see white paper for the background. I want you to think about all of your work. And I'm actually gonna make like a stripey design. You are welcome to do anything you want here, but I don't want to see white. I want to see that you've thought about this. It just makes an extra, makes your work extra special and look extra finished. So I'm just gonna go in there and make sure that I've painted Crayon would also work really well for this, and so would colored pencil. You guys did a beautiful job with colored pencil for your shoe projects, and colored pencil is very simple and effective. Okay, so I'm just going to go in like that, and paint in <clears throat> my background. Okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wacky burger collage. Good job. I want you guys to have fun and use your imaginations, and I absolutely cannot wait to see what beautiful work you make. Remember, take a photo of your work and upload it into the assignment in Google Classroom. Have fun.